Welcome in to another Leeward Islands career mode episode. The final game of the season ta sees us taking on Trinidad and Tobago. We are in fourth place. Trinidad and Tobago are in second. It's very tight at the top. We could finish, like, pretty high here, I, I feel, if we can get a good performance in the end. As you can see, any of the top four or five teams could win it. So a few results need to go away. We've had a really roller coaster uh, season, really. For the cricket club uh you guys were last here of course with a very disappointing 50 over campaign we started off our campaign a right against barbados we got through to 302 uh murray 117 51 for paul um four for 60 for simmons and three for 89 for Macau. so those two are really good um in tandem along with bartholomew there but yeah good fighting not from carson murray who's had a really good season in the first class um this season 237 all out in response. 5 for 47 for Joseph. Good to see our very experienced international bowler getting very valuable wickets. Giddens 2 for 29 was quite good as well. So with Mitchell 2 for 37. 85 and 53 at the top of McCaskey and Lyndon Barnes 44. And the next in, he's got 319. Uh, Andrew and Giddens and Mitchell. The middle order just held it together enough to get us a decent score. Bartholomew 5 for 73. 3 for 87 for Simmons. 2 for 98 for McAllister. And they got through to 266 for 6. And a pretty disciplined bowling performance. Um, one wicket apiece for Peters, Marley, Giddens, and Mitchell. Joseph, 255 there. In the next game, the Guana Cricket Club beat us by 10 wickets. A pretty convincing result, actually. Uh, we got through to 367. Uh, I thought we batted well. Hall, 85. 127 for Andrew, not out. Mitchell, 56. Just folded a wee bit towards the back end of our innings when we were looking over 400. Fraser, 5 for 99, was outstanding for Guana. 350 in response. And that was a pretty good response. 5 for, five for 73 for Spencer. Really happy with how the all-rounder went there. Two for for Peters and Joseph. But we had them on the ropes. We had them 53 before. I felt we could have rolled them a bit more. Um, Alan Ramden Paul um, getting some very nice scores. Uh, there we got through to 217 um, which gave us 234 to defend which i thought was going to be a quite a competitive score sinclair four for 77 and moti two for 32 struggled a wee bit against the spin paul 66 top score there but the two openers were exceptional alexander and chander paul both getting tons and we just could not break through there unfortunately so a good one for the guana cricket club we bounced back with the 10 wicket vitreous house we absolutely cane jamaica 628 for six four hundreds here hall foster andrew and murray all getting hundreds and a 50 to alexander there it was just a dominant display of the bat regular partnerships the first one 226 there's another partnership of 200 between i believe andrew and murray and then another 100 partnership between then andrew and alexander but yeah good performance there bowled them out for 368 uh a four for 72 for hooper three for 66 for peters uh, they were really good. Gilzine, 116 at the top. 65 for Muhabur in the middle. And we bowled them out for 267 in the final session. And we needed 10 runs in about 40 minutes. We got them quite easily. Simon, 150 there. A pretty good special effort there. And Hooper, uh, 10 wickets for the game. Uh, 6 for 66 was his best bowling figures ever. And as you saw, 10 without loss. And then we lost um, to the Wynwood Islands. A, a pretty disappointing performance we started off well hall has had a promising season 200s and a 50 an average of 54 so far in the campaign but nothing really else is substantial note and the sri lankan tilakaratni 4 for 85 3 for 30 for gerald r lee just played a little bit for west indies as well 504 for nine in response james 195 rutherford 112 we had them 168 for 5. I thought we would have got them rolled a wee bit there. 4 for 111 for Marley. 2 for 111 for Hooper. 2 for 68 for Peters. And then we're bowled out for 345. We fought hard as we could to try and force a draw to get a few more valuable points in this competition. To the Grattany again, 525. 35s for Peters and Marley. Um, Paul Murray Alexander getting 50s. But yeah, ultimately it wasn't enough. 91 for 4. That's the Winwood Islands response. But yeah, a lot of players away. Andrew, Mitchell, Giddens, Hooper and Peters and Mitchell. All selected by the West Indies ODI team. So it's great to see them being picked. And it is the World Cup after all for the West Indies. So the West Indies are a relatively competitive side in the ODI Championship. But it means a pretty different looking team to say the least. 
it's going to be very challenged. Basically got all our available players um, to fill the pot, uh, spots in the team. Um, we'll open up with uh, Marley and Joseph. We'll probably want to bat first, ideally. We'll maybe skittle if we can. We'll go for the um, option of bowling first because it's a wee bit overcast. We want to pitch the ball up, try to get some early wickets. Good opportunity for Cummins and Marley just to get into a good rhythm. Hopefully cause some problems. Yeah, we do really need some early wickets. We need an inspirational bowling performance from someone. Got to dictate pace in this game if we can have some results go our way as well. That would be nice. Good tidy bowling performance so far. We've got plenty of bowling options, which is phenomenal. Spencer to Grant, and that's our second wicket. A very tight competition. Like, we could easily finish last if things go wrong. And that's Fitzgerald Joseph out as well. Former uh, cricketer uh, here, Fitzgerald Joseph. It's good to see the career is thriving at Trinidad and Tobago. I couldn't really give him too many chances here. He's solid. Yeah, and he's just been exceptional um, for Trinidad and Tobago. So, a good wicket to get. It's Ram Dass will bowl quite attacking as well. And we'll get Robert Marley back. 95 for 3 after 32 overs. So we're looking at the other games. Looking at the Guana Cricket Club and Barbados, more importantly. And we need probably a few draws in the other games. Probably in us winning to force the result. It's going to bring the lengths back a wee bit. Need a good outing from Cummins here. Cummins is really, really struggling a wee bit. He's had a few seasons now in the... Um, career and he's just hasn't really developed um, to where we need him to be uh, Ramdas averaging just near 40 per wicket it's a good wicket to get Trinidad and Tobago we're starting to build that partnership we've got the key wickets it's great to have so many bowling options here it's almost a luxury 208 for four 199 for four Kuana, and 230 for one for the windward islands they admittedly look really good against us cummins finally gets a delivery in the right place and george is gone Off for 17. Good performance with the ball so far. Oh, that's a good delivery from Ramdas. Gets the edge of Joseph. Gone for 15. 100 for uh, Joshua De Silva too. 7th 100 in his career. Very good um, test match specialist for the West Indies. Now it's our chance to shine. Ramdas getting the air ball in the right spots. And a wee bit of turn the other way. Has that ball that does the other. Good. Good delivery. Joseph, who's been... I'm really impressed with Joseph in this campaign. He's been very much spot on. New ball is available. We'll take the new ball. We'll give James a chance to take it. Along with Bradbert Marley. It's a good delivery. James will get the wicket to sell with 300 for 8. Good, good to see Ramdas amongst the wickets as well. He's got a lot of experience now, and that's a delivery that's a slid on. Boys will go for 24. We have the attack. End of day one, 352 for 9. The innings is wrapped up pretty quickly in the second day action, and we have got a bit of a chase on our hands to just get in front of this game. 404 for 7, Jamaica struggling there, and Guana Creek Club looking all right in that game. You've just got to get through the tricky period with a bit overcast. Can Hall add to his uh, season tally of runs? It's a shame that it's only a five-game uh, season for the first class. Love to have played a few more um, games. Maybe play one twice would have been sort of ideal. Now, just got to be in touch with the. Just have it going to get a decent clip as well. So, we don't really want to bat past their score, but 
just drain all the overs out of the game where it, the only possible outcome is a draw. We need a win here today. We need to try and force the pace. Out for 22 is Hall. Pout and Paul has been caught. That's two quick wickets. With 38 for two and Murray. So now with Foster. Just look ever so solid at the top. A lot happened in his career so far, Foster. That's really good, like, to say the least. We've given him an opportunity to develop his craft. And he's just taken that opportunity. He's really, really a good up-and-coming cricketer. Team nearly six seasons now. Sixty-eight for two. He's got away for four more. That's a good shot. Seventy-eight for two now. Form the partnership. We haven't got much batting here, so we're going to have to dig deep. Tail really starts at seven. Joseph batting far too high. He's got, I think, six fifties at the level. Uh, Joseph over the course of his career, he's thirty-four years of age. The West Indies decided to pick our um best talented players and hopefully they perform well at the World Cup. Very surprised Murray still hasn't been selected for the one day team. He's rapidly improving though. I reckon he will get a shot. He told him to work on his first class game and he's out for 33. So he's hit probably the average. But yeah, this season obviously averaging 57. Mammoth improvement. Alexandra. 18th first class 50 for Foster he continues to get the um, get the big scores that's a silly shot we're not playing reverse sweets in first class cricket are we really it's one of those modern um, shots that Sort of belong in the limited overs format. Trinidad Tobago, they'll feel if they can break through a couple more partnerships. They're just really amongst the tail really early. We're just really depleted for this last game, which is a shame. We would have loved to tilt, possibly at the uh, title, but just got to give ourselves a shot, I suppose, by just being within range. A bit to overhaul. Oh, that's just an easy caught and bowled. He's done the hard at Foster. And Boyce has got a big a big wick at Kamari Boyce. Newman Spencer in. I need Spencer to defy that average of 23. It's better than that too, I believe. Like, he has played for Kent. Done pretty well there. He's not too bad at the, um, for us, actually. He averages 36, but Get that keep climbing up that average if he wants to press for higher honours. 57 for four now. in cricket at the moment this is exactly what we need need a bit of conviction here 186 for four after 61 overs are trailing by 173 it's a pretty intense game 109 for three Barbados there and Jamaica have to make a good fist of that as well we just need games petering up to draws in both of those
50 for Alexander. He's worked really hard for that. That's a good 50 from the young keeper. Third 50 at the level. It's only high score of 58, though. He needs to get past that today. He needs to grind this innings to be a big score. Just beats the diving fielder there, and it's another another boundary. 200 up for the Leeward Islands. It's a dumb shot that's going to get you out, Alexander. He likes playing that uh, reverse sweep. Spence is gone. That's a good delivery from Durand. Now you're into the uh, bowlers now, and you need Azari Joseph to, to maybe pull finger here as well. Another 100 runs at least to stay in the contest. It's taken on the fielder. Should get there relatively safely. Joseph out for two, and it's just... Getting a wee bit more tougher now. Like Ramdas probably should have been up the order a wee bit. It's got the 150. Same with uh, Rabbit Marley. 250s. Cummins. It's got a 33. Shamar James have just accidentally placed there. That's his poor placement. And he's coming up. We're going to bring Rabbit Marley up the order. 220 for 7. Marley gone. So Alexander's going to have to try and hit what, what they can. Hope for the best. Hopefully get a lucky 50 run partnership here. Get it under 100 the lead. Trinidad Bay are dictating terms in this game though. <laughs> Bass is gone. Cummins is the last recognised batsman. And a wee bit of faith in Cummins. He's gone. Okay, so we are trailing by a monumental amount. 125 the lead. And if, just an average batting uh, performance here. Boyce, brilliant. 7 for 82. That's his best bowling figure is in this. And he's played exceptionally well in the test format as well. So, yeah, good performance from Trinidad and Tobago. We need early wickets. We need someone to fire up and get them, or else we're going to be chasing something pretty substantial. He's going to get in the right channels for us. End of day 240 without loss after 12. 200 for 6 for Barbados and 226 for 4 for Jamaica. Let's try and get a wee bit of spin out of the wickets. It's a good batting display so far. It's just nothing really happening for the bowlers. And it's 216 for one. 340 the lead. It's just been absolutely outplayed in this game uh, so far. Finally, another wicket. Joseph is gone for 81. A good performance from Fitzgerald Joseph, former player. Club Spencer. Strikes. Double strike. A wee bit of a positive spell here just to rein it in a wee bit. We're going to have to try and gallantly try to chase this down. Could we spell from Spencer 4 for 64? Cummins into the attack. Cummins will strike as well. Continuing to develop that left armour. Maybe a bit of point of difference in the attack. He is struggling though. It's turning the pitch. Four hundred and eighty eight the lead. We've been absolutely decimated. Four hundred and ninety is the lead. That is a very good batting card there. Puran, 131. Joseph, 81. 78 for De Silva. And we are chasing 491 to try and somehow lift the first class competition that we so desperately want to win. We haven't won it yet. We haven't been even close. It's been a very long time in waiting for that competition. We've won all the other ones, of course. Won the one day once. I think the 20 over one twice. without loss. 
out for 12. Foster, we needed just a bigger score. Here we are. Trying to play that spans a game of cricket. Pull out for zero. 40 for two. Murray out for naught as well. It's just falling apart. Again, can the youngster uh, get going in the debut season? It's just capitulated to to this. We're going to peter towards another feeder, and I think we'll be near the bottom of the table too, despite having some really highly competitive games. Just another, another loss incoming, I think, and in convincing fashion too. We've been outplayed, like again, just withering under the occasional. Though we losing six players out of our squad is just huge. Out for four. James getting another go at position there. Yeah, just our next really good crop of bowlers that's not quite coming through for us yet. And it's just a really disappointing batting card. It's just really not what we want but a resistance would have been nice 300 in the chase would have been quite good but yeah it's just kamari boys what an outstanding game five wickets again you can't fault him he's really good and just a really good player to have bowling in the right channels for Trinidad Tobago they will be anxiously waiting the other results I think they might win the comp just with a really good performance like this James getting a few boundaries away. 22 moves to. He's gone. He's gone for 22. 366 run defeat. That is a very big defeat. Laura Gittin's got 50 there. We've got a few players in the lineup. Peters and Mitchell. Got the West Indies going the other games. They've lost the West. They lost there as well. 3 for 78. 3 for 100 for Peters. That... <laughs> We soon as are getting pummeled at the World Cup. But yeah, we finish in fifth place. Trinidad and Tobago did go out and win the comp. Just shows you, if we had won that game, I think we would have won just the competition there. That's how tight that was. We had three losses, one win and a draw. Pretty disappointing campaigns all round. Um, we'll review the season very shortly.